Hi, I'm Ethan Blevins, an attorney with the Pacific Legal Foundation, and I want to explain why PLF is suing the City of Seattle over its unconstitutional food waste ban. This is the number of waste receptacles you have at your house. In Seattle, if you throw food in the wrong one, you've violated the law. This is the amount of food or recyclables in your trash can that will earn you one of these. So how do trash collectors decide whether to slap your garbage can with one of these shame tags? Well, they get into your trash and they kind of poke around and then mentally they use their best judgment to solve this volume equation. And in addition to the tags, starting next year, they'll impose fines. And this is the number of ways you can challenge a trash collector's off-the-cuff decision that you've thrown out too much food. But these are the most important numbers in this story because Article 1, Section 7 of the Washington State Constitution protects privacy from government intrusions, including garbage cans. Now this is the estimated population of the city of Seattle that will be subject to the food waste rule. And this is the number of privacy violations that will occur every year under this food waste ban. This is the percentage Seattle plans to increase its recycling rate in a given year. That means the city of Seattle plans to increase recycling by a measly 2% each year at the cost of 34 million privacy violations. That's an expensive 2%.